Damon here from Inexterious Painters and Decorators and you're watching Inexterious TV. In this video I'm going to show you how to paint a sash window. If you would like to purchase some of the tools or materials that are used for this project please feel free to check out the links in the description below and also please feel free to check out my tool store. The links are also in the description below. So with that said, let's do this. The tools and materials used for this task is a 15mm synthetic sash brush, a Fitch paintbrush, an inch and a half synthetic paintbrush, some 80 grit sandpaper, a window blade, dust brush, a multi-tool scraper, a paint kettle and some aqua water based undercoat and top coat and I'm using satin as a top coat. What I do first is just run the window blade around the um, cutting in bit of where you're cutting to the glass because that bit decorators lip onto the glass um, slightly nice and tidily and that bit can often become loose so it's a good idea just to go around with a window blade first and scrape any loose off and then give it a sand. Be careful not to scratch the glass with a sandpaper. Now I've dealt with the beady bits up against the glass I then sand the faces of the window. Then I'll give it a good dust off with my dust brush. Then I just repeat the same on the bottom sash, scraping any loose off the window and then sanding the rest of it with um, sandpaper. But once again, please be careful not to scratch the glass. To be fair, this window's in really good condition. I mean, I do, I've done a lot worse condition windows than this, so it doesn't require no filling. Um, yeah, I think there was just one bit of cork and that was where the window seal um, meets the actual window. Once again we give it a good dust down with the dust brush. Now we lift this bottom sash up and just sand and dust the bits that we couldn't get to when the window was shut. It's always good to try and um, have the window shut when you're sanding the majority of it just to minimise the dust. You can't help the dust going on the inside at some point but you can minimise it. Next, I just spot prime any bare bits of wood. See, this bit on the inside that I'm pointing to, we need to get to that. So if you can get to it, this is what you can do. I mean, often windows are painted shut, so you can't do this. So we pull this one up and the other one fully down. And then now we can get to this inside bit. See, we can just give this a quick sand down and a quick wipe down with a cloth and I'll wipe the runners down at the same time as well. I'll just give you a close up of the bits that we need to be careful when we're painting. Like we've got these runners and that's where I use my little fitch and then you sort of got these bushy draft excluder things as well so we need to cut into them as well. I mean we, when we paint them we don't put loads of paint on them but we do need to paint them. I use my sash brush to cut in against those um, like sort of bushy draft excluder things and then I use my fitch for the more trickier places like around those runners because it's important not to get any paint on those runners. If you would like to know how to paint a window and how to repair a rotten window frame please check out the card in the top right hand corner of the screen. Be sure to check that card out because it's a total different style of window. And with my sash brush, I cut into the glass. I've got to say that these sash brushes are amazing for cutting in. And if you see there, I'll just use my Fitch bit to paint the um, them little tops. And when I'm cutting in here, I'm being careful to 
not put loads of paint on because there's that bushy draft excluder thing that's in the way, so we don't want to be getting that blabbered. Now we're painting the frame part of the window and just cutting it into the brickwork. As you can see here, I'm just painting this top part of the window as well. If you would like to purchase some of the tools or similar tools that I'm using here, please feel free to check out the links in the description below. And also, please feel free to check out my tool store. The links are also in the description below. Right, this is all the top part done. Now we slide the other sash up to the top and the other sash down to the bottom and that gives us the full face of this to paint. Look, you might get some scuffs on the inside where you pull the um, sash back up, but look, it can't be helped unless you're willing to let it dry. And if you was using an oil-based paint, it would take a long time to dry, so you've got no choice but to get, get on with it. I am using a hybrid water-based undercoat and top coat, so I did leave it to dry before I pushed the sash up. So you have your frame, and then you have your inner sash bit. Uh, when you paint in the face of your inner sash bit, don't put sort of absolutely loads of paint on it because you don't want it to be flooded of paint and the window to stick. So now I'm painting the bottom part of the top sash. See with the top part of the window completely painted, it's now time to move on to the bottom part. And as you can see here, you can see that that bit was just painted just further down. So when I had it crossed over and I was painting that bit that was hard to get to, I painted so far down as well. By using a combination of the 15mm sash brush, the inch and a half synthetic paint brush, we paint the rest of the window by starting off with the inner part of the window first and then we paint the framework next to, next to the brickwork. See, with my sash brush here, I paint up to the lip, I cut into the edges of the, what would be the inside of the window, just so it looks nice and tidy. This is it, fully undercoated. And this is the window finish after having two top coats of satin. 
And that is how to paint a sash window. If you've got anything from this video, please like, share, subscribe, please hit that notification bell if you want to be notified of any future videos, and please feel free to leave a comment in the comment section below. Thank you very much for watching. Take care.